Hello, hello. Welcome to Toya in Stitches. I'm Toya. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple beginner friendly blanket. The main body of the blanket is made up of alternating rows of half double crochet and double crochet. And then for the border, we're going to be doing some two by two ribbing, which is just working front and back post, half double crochet around the edge of the blanket, and then finishing off with a final row of single crochet. And to make the blanket, I used Bernat Symphony in the color Pomegranate Punch. It's a 7.9 ounce ball, so it's a pretty big ball. I used about four and a half skeins of the main color and one skein of the gray border color. And this is how much I have left over from working the border. Uh, to This is a bulky weight yarn and I used a seven millimeter hook. And to make your blanket, you're also gonna need some stitch markers. You're gonna need about five for when we're working the border and some scissors, tape measure, tapestry needle. I will leave all the information about the yarn, tools you need, everything down in the description. So go ahead and check that out, grab your supplies and let's get started. All right, so to show you how to make the blanket, I'm just going to be using some Lion Brand Wool Ease and some Blue Crochet Wool of the Andes worsted weight. I didn't want to use the variegated yarn that I use for the blanket just because it makes it hard to see my stitches and see what and show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to use this one for the main part. I'm just going to be making a small swatch to show you what I'm doing and then I'm going to use this to do the border so you can kind of clearly see what I'm doing. All right so let's get started. Okay so for your blanket your stitches are going to make up the width of your blanket and your rows are going to make up the length. So when you're chaining, you're going to chain uh, about three inches less than you want the width of your blanket to be. So say you want your blanket to be about 45 inches wide, you want to chain until you get 42 inches because then you want to leave room for the border. You don't want the blanket to be larger than you wanted it to be. So if you want it to be 45 inches wide thereabouts then chain until you get to 42 and then leave three inches for the border and your stitches need to be worked over a multiple of four to accommodate the border we're going to be using so for my swatch i'm going to chain 21 which is my multiple of four plus one for my turning chain so i'm just going to start by making a slip knot And then I'm going to chain 21 for my swatch and you can chain as many chains as you need to get as wide as your blanket. Just remember to make it three inches shorter than your finished width. Right, so I have my 21 chains and now my first row, I'm going to be working half double crochet. So I'm going to be working into the bottom bump of my chain, which is my preferred way of working into my chain. But because I'm going to be adding a border at the end, it makes it a lot easier to find where to add your stitches on your border if you work into the bottom bump of your chain. So that at, for this particular pattern, I would suggest you working into the bottom bump so that when it comes to adding your border, it's easier for you to see where you're going. So we're gonna skip the first chain and then just do a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So we yarn over, insert our hook under that bottom bump, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And then again, yarn over, insert under the bottom bump, yarn over, pull up your loop, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. And so for your first row, you're just gonna work half double crochet all the way across your chain. All right, so I've finished the first row of my swatch, so I've done my half double crochets all the way across. Now I'm going to chain two and turn. And normally I only chain one regardless of which stitch I'm using. But because I know I'm going to be adding a border, chaining two really helps to 
add stitches on the sides of your work when you're working your single crochet for your first round of your border. It just gives you more room to work into the stitch because when, I'll show you. So say I chain one and then I work a double crochet. When I get to working my border and I turn it, that first chain there has a big hole and then I only have the top of the stitch. So I don't actually have the side of the double crochet to work into if I only chain one. So when I know I'm going to be adding a border to a project and I'm working double crochets, then I will chain two. But if I'm not adding a border, I'll only chain one. So because for this project, I know I'm going to be adding a border. When I'm working my rows of double crochet, I'm going to chain two when I turn. So I'm chaining two, turning my work. And now I'm going to work row two, which is double crochets all the way across. So go ahead. So we're going to yarn over, insert into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over through two and again yarn over insert into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and you're just going to continue working double crochets all the way across your row all right so i finished my row two now onto row three so we're going to chain one and turn so now remember for rows of half double crochet you're only going to chain one and for rows of double crochet you'll chain two to start your row all right so just going to work a half double crochet in the first stitch yarn over insert into the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three loops on your hook and again yarn over insert yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three loops and you're just going to work half double crochet all the way across your row. I have finished my row three. So for the duration of your project now, you're going to repeat rows two and three. So you're going to alternate double crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet until your blanket gets to almost your de desired length. You're going to work as I did with the stitches for the width of the blanket when you're working the length you're going to work until your blanket is three inches shorter than your desired length so for example if you want your blanket to be about 60 inches long you're going to work until it gets to about 57 inches just be sure that when you're ending you're ending on a row of half double crochet just to make everything finish off nice and evenly be sure to end on a row of half double crochet. So yes, yeah, so for the duration, just continue working rows two and three, and then I'll meet you back when you've gotten your blanket to your desired length, well, three inches shorter than your desired length, and then I'll show you how to add your border. All right, so now I'm on the final stitch of my little swatch here. By now you've gotten to your last row of your blanket. So the first thing I'm going to do is change color so you can see what I'm doing for the border. So on my very last stitch, if you are gonna change color, you would work to your final row of half double crochet and with three loops on your hook, you're just gonna drop your main color, pick up your border color, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops with that color. And we're gonna tighten that up and I'm gonna just snip away my main color so I can get that out of the way. All right, so, for our border, I'm going to be working a row of half double crochet all the way around. So for me, when I'm working my border, I work in continuous rounds so I don't chain and join each row. So the first step for me will always be to mark my what will be my last stitch of the round. So this last stitch here is going to be my final stitch of each round so i'm going to take one stitch marker and i'm going to put it into that stitch so i know when i get to the end of each round and that's first second now we're going to start our border so in each corner of your blanket you're going to end up putting 
three stitches. So since my first round is going to be half double crochet in the side of this final double crochet that I work, I'm going to be working three half double crochet. So I'm going to turn my work here. Let me get a little darning needle so you can see. So here is the top of my stitch. Now I'm going to turn my work. And when you turn your stitch, you have that loop on the side there and one in the back there. So you're going to be working under those two loops. One second time. So now I'm going to yarn over and insert into the side of that stitch. And it can sometimes feel a bit finicky. Just take your time with it. So into those two loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And if you change color, it's going to feel a little loose. But once you start working more rounds, it'll be okay. So now you're going to work two more half double crochet in that same space. So yarn over, insert into the side of that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through all three loops on your hook. And then one more, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. So that is your first corner. And this is how you get those square edges. In each corner, you're going to increase by three stitches. So now what you need to do is get another stitch marker and mark the second stitch. So you did three stitches in that corner. You need the second one, get a stitch marker and place it into that second stitch. So whenever you get to your corners, you know exactly where you're going to be placing those three stitches to increase your corner. So now we'll continue working down the side of our work. And before I start, I'll show you where you're going to be putting your stitches. So your next row is going to be a row of double crochet. I remember that we chained two at the beginning of each round of double crochet. So now you have two chains you can work into. Pull that up. Okay, so now if we take a look at our stitch, if we turn it sideways, you can see the top of each chain. So when you have it this way, you're going to be working under those two loops. That's one. And then under those two loops, that's two. So for each row of double crochet, you're going to be working two stitches in the side of those rows. And for your half double crochet rows, you're going to be working one stitch into the side of the half double crochets. So right there under those two stitches, so we're going to work one stitch in that chain there, one stitch in that chain there. And then for the half double crochet, you're going to be working into the side of the stitch under those two loops. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to yarn over, insert into the side of that first chain of the double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through. And then for the next chain, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. All right now we're on to the half double crochet. We're going to yarn over, insert into the under two loops of the side of that stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we'll do that again. We're on a row of double crochet. So now we're looking for the two chains on the side of that row. There is one, there is two. So we're going to yarn over, go into that first one, work a half double crochet. And then we're going to yarn over, go into the second chain, and work a half double crochet. And now we're on a row of half double crochet. We're going to be working into the side of the stitch under two loops. Yarn over, insert into the side of the stitch, yarn over, 
pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And that's how you're going to continue working down the side of your blanket. You're going to be working into the two chains on the side of the rows of double crochet and into the side of the half double crochets until you get all the way down. But before you complete that first side, what I want you to do is count how many stitches you're going to have, just so you don't just continue going all the way around and then realize that we're short stitches for our border. So how are we gonna do that is for the stitch to the left of where you put that stitch marker, you're going to start counting. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For each row of double crochet, that's gonna be two. So that's eight, nine. For each row of half double crochet, that's gonna be one. That'll be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So now I know I need to add one more stitch because I need it to be an even number of stitches. So before I get to this last stitch here, I will want to add an extra stitch somewhere along the side of my border, more so in the somewhere roughly in the center of your blanket. So where we will add that extra stitch is in the side of a half double crochet. So I'll just work on with you. I'll work this row of double crochet. So I'm gonna be working into one of those chains and then the second one of the chain on the side of the double crochet. And then when I get to a half double crochet, so this is fairly roughly in the center of my swatch. So I'm going to work two half double crochet right here just to even out this side of my border. So we'll just go one and two. All right, and then we'll continue working down the side of our border until we get to the last stitch. All right, so now I'm at the last row which is a row of half double crochet. So now in the side of this half double crochet here, you're going to work three stitches. So let's do that. So we're gonna go into the side of that half double crochet and we're going to work one, two, three. We have our three stitches that make up our corner. Now we're going to grab another stitch marker and we're gonna put it in the second stitch of those three stitches. So one, two, three from our corner. So we're gonna be putting our stitch marker right in the second one there. And then we're gonna turn and now we're gonna come across this row, which is going to be our starting row, which is where we worked into the bottom bump. And now if I turn it right now, you can clearly see the tops of each stitch. So now you know exactly which two loops you're gonna go under to work your half double crochets. Now, the very first one is gonna be a little hard to see because you worked into the side, but now we still have to work into the top of that stitch. So look for your slip knot right there and just pull on it a little bit so you can see the actual stitch. So just yarn over and then go under those two loops, yarn over, pull up a loop and work your half double crochet. And then you're just gonna continue working half double crochets until you get to your next corner. All right, so now I have completed working my half double crochet all the way along that row. So now I'm gonna be turning and going down the side of my work again. And now on this side, we're going to have the chains that are attached to the side of the half double crochets. So how are we gonna work into those? I'm gonna take my hook out for a second. So here you see your half double crochet. And right here is your chain. So when you turn, your work, you're going to go under that loop 
and the other loop. So like when you start a project and you're chaining and you're working into the side of that stitch, you're gonna to try to find the two loops. So bring it closer. So you see you have that one there and that one there. You're going to get your hook under, I keep splitting it, sorry, under those two loops, just like that. So it'll, it's gonna take a little bit of fiddling to get under those two loops. Just take your time so you can work under the two loops of the chain that's on the side of the half double crochet. And this one's gonna be very tricky because you're gonna be working three stitches into this one. So take your time and do that. So let's go ahead and do that. Kind of yarn over. And it helps if you kind of curl under one. Just like catch one and then back out a little bit. And then use your finger to go under. Oh, I go too close there. Oh. And then under the other one. Oh my god. So there we go. So we got under the two loops. So that first one's gonna be a little tricky because we're gonna work three stitches right there, but just take your time with it. And once you start to work into it, it gets easier. So there's one. Two. And our third and final one. Oh, you lost it. No. Ooh, there we go. Can I pull that up? Yay. No, I lost it. There we go, three. All right, so we have our three corner stitches. Grab another stitch marker and into the second one, we're gonna put our stitch marker. And now we're gonna continue. So now we're gonna be working into the sides of double crochet stitches. So we're, as on the other side, we were working into the chains on the side of the double crochets. Now we're going to be working into the side of actual double crochet stitches. So I will show you where you're going to be putting your hook. Okay, so we have our double crochet right here. You wanna turn it, and as you turn your stitch, you are going to see right here, there's two loops right there. It's like the side of the leg of the stitch. So you wanna go under there. That's one, and then up here, where it kind of looks like there's a little knot, if you go under there and turn it, you're gonna get two loops right there at the top of the stitch. So, right where that's, there's that little crossbar right there, is where the, you're gonna start going into the second one, and as you turn it, you'll pick up the other side of the loop so that you have two. So right there at the base, you have those two. And then right there at the top, you have those two loops. So it's there you're gonna be placing your two stitches on the side of the double crochet. So here we go. Right in the, right at the base right there. So yarn over. And you're gonna go right into the base of the stitch right there. Under those two loops. Run over, pull up the loop. Run it up there through all three. And then now at the top of the stitch, you wanna yarn over and insert under the two loops. And then yarn over, pull up a loop through all three loops. So that's one stitch and two stitch stitches into the side of the double crochet. So now we are over at the half double crochet and sometimes your chain gets twisted on the side there and it'll look like a little knot. So if you turn it all the way, it looks like a little knot right there. So when you're working into the stitch, 
there is the base of that half double crochet and the chain on the side. So you're gonna go under that little knot and once you go right into that space, you're gonna catch two loops to work into. So I'll turn it that way. So there's the base of the stitch and that's going under what looks like a little knot on the side of the stitch that is just going into your chain, which is where you're going to put your stitch. So yarn over and you go into your little knot there. Yarn over, pull up a loop and work your stitch. So back to a double crochet on the side of the base of the stitch is where you're going to do your first one. And then at the side of the top of the stitch is where you're gonna do your second one. All right, so now back to your half double crochet. You look for your little knot. Can you see that? You're gonna yarn over and you're gonna insert under that little knot there. And work your stitch. So now you're going to just continue working down the side of your row and then remember whereas on the other side where you had to increase by one stitch you're going to have to do the same thing on this side. So roughly along the side in the center where you place the stitch on the other side you're going to have to do the same thing here and like you did there put it in the side of a half double crochet. So we'll do that real quickly. So I'll work another half double crochet, two half double crochet in the side of this double crochet right here. So that's one and that is two. And then now I'm over to my half double crochet. So working under my little knot there, I'm gonna go one, oops, there we go, so one, and then two. All right, so then we've done our increase. So we know we have the same number of stitches on this side as we do on the other side. And then you're going to continue working into the sides of your stitches until you get to that final corner. So two stitches in the sides of double crochets and one stitch in the side of the half double crochet. So finish off this side and I'll meet you back in the corner for our final corner. All right, so I'm on my final corner. So we're just gonna find the chain on the side of this final row of half double crochet and work our three stitches. So if I hold it this way, there is the top of your stitch and that little knot on the side there. So the top of your stitch. And then right in here is where you're gonna place your three half double crochets for your corner. So yarn over into that corner. One, two, and three. Then we grab our stitch marker, place it in that second stitch. And then we're going to work into that first stitch, which at this stage now is gonna look sort of like the top, the back loop is gonna be a little bit stretched because we pulled down the chain. So just make sure when you're working into it, you go into the front loop and the back loop and work your stitch. All right, so work your final row of half double crochet and then I'll meet you back in our first corner again and then we'll start our front and back post stitches which make up for border. Okay, so now I'm back at my, at my first stitch marker which is my last stitch of the round. So I'm going to remove this stitch marker here work my final half double crochet and put my stitch marker right back in. 
All right, so now we're on to round two of our border. So we're gonna work a half double crochet in this first stitch here, and then we're going to work three half double crochet where we have that next stitch marker. So yarn over, working half double crochet in that first one. Remove our stitch marker and place three half double crochets in that stitch. So one, two, and three. Ooh, I keep losing it. All right. And then now we're going to take our stitch marker and put it back in the second stitch. All right, and now we're gonna turn and work along the side. And now we're going to place one stitch in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert, and work one half double crochet in that next stitch. And then now we're going to start working our post stitches. So I'll bring it up close. So that stitch is connected to this one here. So now we're going to be working around this next stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook behind the stitch like that, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, work a half double crochet. There we go. And we're gonna do the same for the next stitch. So we're gonna insert, behind, oh, we're going to yarn over, insert behind that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, work a half double crochet. Now for the next two, we're going to be working the post from the back side of our work. So we're going to yarn over, and put our hook behind our work, stick it across the front of the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop behind the stitch and work a half double crochet. So again, we yarn over, insert our hook from behind our stitch, across the front, yarn over, pull up a loop behind that stitch and work a half double crochet. So we've worked two front post half double crochet, which means the post comes up the on the front of the stitch. And then we did two back post half double crochet, which means the post is on the back of our work here. So we're gonna repeat that. So in the next two stitches, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook behind the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, work a half double crochet. And then again, on the next one, we yarn over, insert behind the stitch, around the post of the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through all three. So that's your second set of half double crochet. So this one's the front post, post is on the front, and then now we're gonna do the back ones, yarn over, go behind our work, insert and then cross over the stitch, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, go through all three. And then again, yarn over from behind our stitch, we insert our hook around the stitch, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, go through all three loops. So you're gonna continue working your front and back post stitches until you get to the stitch to the right of your stitch marker. So your stitch marker is there. You're not gonna do a post stitch on this one. You should stop right here. So when you get here, we'll come back, we'll work the corner and then go across the top of our work there. All right, so now I'm at that stitch just before I get to my stitch marker and it's gonna look like there's no stitch there because of how that post stitch sits across the top of the stitch. So just turn your work towards you so you can see the, stop, the top of the stitch, yarn over and insert under the top of that stitch, yarn over, pull up your loop and work your half double crochet. 
And now you're going to remove your stitch marker and place three stitches into that stitch. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to put our stitch marker back into our second stitch. We're going to turn. We're going to work a half double crochet in the next stitch. And now we're going to start working our front and back post half double crochets again. So for your next one, you're going to yarn over and go behind the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then again, yarn over, insert, stick your hook behind your stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then for the other ones, you're gonna do the opposites. You're gonna yarn over, Insert your hook from behind your stitch and across the front, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And again, you're going to yarn over, insert from behind your work, across the front of your stitch, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. One more time. So your next one, you're gonna be working behind the stitch. You're gonna be inserting behind your stitch, so from the front, Insert behind your stitch, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and again, yarn over from the front, insert, go behind the stitch, yarn over, insert, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then from the other one, yarn over, we're going to now go from behind across the front, so yarn over, insert from behind your work, across the front of your stitch, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. One more time, yarn over from behind your work, insert across the front of your stitch, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And you're gonna continue working across this end of your blanket until you get to the stitch to the right of your stitch marker. So continue doing that and I'll meet you back when you get to this stitch. All right, so now I'm here at my corner again. So I'm gonna work one half double crochet in this stitch right here. And I'm gonna remove my stitch marker, put three stitches in that corner. Replace my stitch marker in that second stitch. And then we're gonna to turn to work down this side. And as we do with the other two sides, we're gonna work a half double crochet in the next stitch. And now we're gonna start working our post stitches. So for this one, we're gonna yarn over, insert behind the next stitch. And just remember, the stitch you just worked into, it's gonna look a little bit open, but just remember, just hold it like this and you'll see the stitches stacked on top of each other. Go around the next stitch. So yarn over, insert, go behind your stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And we're gonna do the same again. Insert, go behind your stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And then for the next two, we're going to insert from behind our stitch, come across the front, yarn over, pull up your loop through all three loops, and then again, yarn over from behind, across the front, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And you're going to continue doing that across this side until we get to that stitch to the right of our stitch marker again. All right, so we're on our final corner. We're gonna work a half double crochet in this stitch to the right of our stitch marker. Remove our stitch marker. Three stitches in that stitch. And 
one, two, and three. Replace our stitch marker in the second stitch. Turn to work the long octagonal edge. Work a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then continue working our front post, back post, half double crochet until we get to the last stitch of our round. All right, so now I'm back at my final stitch of the round. But because we increase each corner, there are now more stitches between my final stitch and where my corner is. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take out our stitch marker. And now we're going to work a couple of back posts, half double crochet here. So we're gonna yarn over, insert from behind across the front and pull up a loop. That's one. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the next stitch. Yarn over from behind, we insert across the front, yarn over, pull up our loop, our loop, and then yarn over, pull through all three. And now we have one stitch before the stitch to the right of where our stitch marker is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work a front post. So we're gonna go behind, pull up a loop, and work that post stitch, and then we're gonna mark that one as the last stitch of our round. We're going to place our stitch marker right there. And then we're going to work a double crochet in the stitch right next to it. Half double crochet, sorry. And then we're going to work our three half double crochet for our corner. So we take out that stitch marker. And then we go one, two, three. And then we place our stitch marker in the second stitch. And as with this side where we had that one front post, we're gonna do the same on this side. So we have the one stitch that is now to the left of where we just placed our increase. So we work one half double crochet right there. And then now we're going to work another so right here we did a front post, now we're gonna do this on the back because our next two are the ones that are to the front. So we yarn over and go from behind, across the front, yarn over, pull up our loop. So now that one is to the back of our work and these are to the front. So now we're gonna continue working these stitches down the side. So for this one, where it comes up in the front, you're gonna now come behind this one. And it's a little tricky, so I'm gonna come a little closer. So we have this stitch right here. You're gonna insert your hook behind it and then work your half double crochet. So it comes up on the front of the stitch like it did before. And you're gonna do the same thing right there. You're gonna yarn over, go behind that post stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop and work your half double crochet. And now for the ones that are behind, you're going to yarn over and come across the back side of it and pull up your loop and work your stitch. So again, you're gonna yarn over and go from behind it and across the stitch there, yarn over and pull up your loop. And then again, these ones are coming this way. So you're gonna work them like you did before, insert behind it, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through three, Yarn over, insert behind the post of the stitch, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And now for the ones on the back, yarn over, go behind your work, insert across the stitch from, be from behind your work, yarn over, pull up your loop. Just like that. Because you wanna make sure the posts of the stitches are always going in the same direction. So when you're working on the ones that are facing you, you're gonna go behind it so that the stitch is pulled up on the front. And then for the ones on the back, you're gonna insert your hook behind your work and across the front of the stitch and then pull the loop up behind it so that it stays on the back side so that you have 
them the posts stacked on top of each other going one way and then the posts stacked on the other side coming the same way so you don't end up doing I'll do one incorrectly just to show you so say for this one you yarned over and you went from behind and across the front this is what would happen so it would then now pull your post to the other side of your work so then now you don't get that nice plump post stitch on the front it's kind of going front back front back you want them to all go in the same direction so for these that face you you know you're coming from the front going around behind and pulling up your loop And then for the ones facing away from you, you're going to yarn over and start your insert from behind you, from behind your work, across the front, and then pull up your loop. So continue working like that until you again get to the stitch to the right of your stitch marker. And then I'll work that corner with you. And then I'll let you work all the way back around to the end. And then I'll meet you back there. But work until you get to the right of your next stitch marker, and then we'll do that corner together again. So I'll see you there. All right, so here I am back at what now looks like one stitch to the right of our stitch marker. But if we remember like from when we did our first corner, we're gonna have an extra stitch in that corner. So I will bring it closer to you. Where is it? Here we go. So here is our corner. There's that stitch to the right of it. But if you hold on to your last stitch, you're gonna see that there is another stitch right there. And because of how the post stitches are worked, sometimes it sits right on top of it and you can miss it. So just remember that in each corner now, there is an extra stitch to the right of your stitch marker. So we're going to have to work an additional post stitch before we get there. So. We just finished working those final two there. There's one here, then that's where we're gonna work that single stitch, then our three stitches, then another single stitch. All right, so these stitches here, the post is facing you. So now we know we have to do a post that is facing away from us. So we yarn over, go in from behind our work, across the front of the stitch, yarn over, pull up your loop, and work your stitch so then now we are at the stitch exactly to the right of our stitch marker so this is now where we're just going to work a half double crochet and now we're going to do our increase so we work our three stitches one two three Replace our stitch marker, turn. Now we have to do one half double crochet right there in the next stitch. And then now we're going to work a post stitch around this one here. So. We have our increase right here. So that's the second one, that's the third one. We need to work a one half double crochet right there, which is attached to this stitch. And then if we pull our work, we've got some post stitches right here. So these ones again are toward us, facing us. So we know this one has to face away from us. So we yarn over, go behind our work, across the front of the stitch, yarn over, pull up our loop through all three loops. And then now we're gonna work our front and back post stitches going across the other side. So these ones are facing us. So we yarn over and insert from the front of our work behind the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, work our stitch. Again, insert from the front, going behind, yarn over, pulling up our loop. For the ones that are facing away from us, we yarn over and we insert from behind, so away from us, across the front, yarn over, pull up our loop, 
work or stitch, yarn over, stick your hook behind your work, cross the front, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through all three. So you're going to work across this one, across this end. When you get to your corner, remember, you're gonna get to your corner, you're gonna have those two post stitches in the back there. So you have the two, then there's gonna be one more that you're going to have to work before you get to the stitch to the right of your stitch marker. So where your stitch marker is, there'll be one stitch and there'll be an extra stitch. Remember to work a post stitch, depending on how many stitches you are, it might be a front or a back, but remember to work one post stitch, then your half double crochet, then your increase, then your half double crochet, then your post stitch, and then you continue working across the post stitches you already have, and then you do the same thing in the next corner, and then I'll meet you back when you get to your final stitch to work row three of our border. All right, so now I'm back at my final stitch, which I'm gonna be working some post stitches to finish off this round. I'll remove this stitch marker. And I will have a post stitch right there. I missed one, so I'll do that one. Then I will work my final stitch of this round. Mark my final stitch. And then now I'm onto the third row of the post stitches. So remember, like when we did the last round, because we increased, there is one additional stitch to work for each round. And this is going to be the final round for the post stitches. And then we'll finish up with the final round of single crochet. So I just worked my last stitch of my previous round. Now I'm going into the second. So now we have one new stitch to work before we get to the stitch to the right of our stitch marker. So in the last round, we only did one. So now we will do two. So now you have two post stitches side by side. So this one will be the exact same type of stitch coming up to the front to match this one. So we're gonna yarn over, insert from the front to go behind the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So now we have a matching pair. And then now we have that stitch to the right of our stitch marker where we're going to work our half double crochet. And then now we'll remove our stitch marker, do our increase. So that's one, two, and three. Replace our stitch marker in that second one. We will turn. And then now on this side, we go and we work one half double crochet to the left of our increase. And then from the on this side, now you just need to check where is that individual post stitch you did. So this one for me is on the back side of my work. So the one that I'm gonna be working right beside it, which is this one. So we just worked a half double crochet there. So now we have this one to work. So now I have to go from behind my work, across the front of my stitch here, yarn over, pull up my loop, yarn over, pull through all three. So that now when I work this next stitch, these two stitches will be identical. So we yarn over, go from behind our work again, around that next stitch, yarn over, pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through all three. So now our posts are on the same side and now we'll continue working across this end and then I'll meet you in the next corner. So you work this side, I'll meet you in the next corner just to do a quick refresher on where we're putting our stitches and then I'll let you finish off the rest of the round and then I'll meet you for the final round. So work across this end and I'll meet you in this corner. All right, so I'm up to my next corner. So from our previous round where we had that solo post stitch before we got into our corner, I'm gonna work around that one. 
And then now we have another one that we need to do to match that one. So in this stitch right here, I'm going to work, I'm going to yarn over and go from behind my work around this stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two. So now I've worked another back post stitch to match the one that was from the previous round. So now I have a set. So now I know I'm going into my corner. So now I have to work one half double crochet. It's so hard to get into the stitch right now. There we go. And now I'm doing my increase. So I'm going to take out my stitch marker, place three stitches right there one, two, and three. Replace my stitch marker, turn my work. Now I'm going to do one half double crochet right next to where I place my increase. So now I know I have a new post stitch to work in because from the other row, from the previous row, there's that one on the back and then there's a space here. So there's that new stitch from our increase from the previous row. So we're going to yarn over. I have to go behind my work, across the front, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through. So now I will have a set from the to match. So the last row, I did that one. So now I add this one. So now it'll even out my corner. So now I insert and I work this stitch. And then now I will continue working around the rest of my border like I did before. So you're gonna work across matching your post stitches across here. When you get to your next corner, you're going to work the increase post stitch we did from the previous round. Then you're gonna add a new one. Then you're going to work your corner. You're going to do that till you get to your other corner. And I will meet you when you get back to your final stitch. So continue working the border like we've done before. And I'll meet you back when you get to your final stitch. All right, so I'm back at my final stitch. So for me, at this point, I'm not going to be working any more rows of the front and back post stitches. I'm going to now move into working a row of single crochet to finish off the border. However, if you wanted to work another row or two, how I would suggest you do that is from this point on, don't add any more front and back post stitches. So what you would now do as you're going into your next round is you would, let me zoom in here, you would work this post stitch, this one, but you wouldn't add a new one when you got into your corner. So like we did in the other two rows, when we got to our corner here and we had that stitch there where we would work just the one half double crochet, we would work a post stitch around this one. We wouldn't do that going into the next round. We would only work around post stitches that were already there. We wouldn't add any new ones in the corner. We would just now, so say for this one, I would work a post stitch around here, another one there, and then I'd do a half double crochet, half double crochet, increase, half double crochet, half double crochet, and then move back into the post stitches I already had. I wouldn't add any new ones. So if you wanted to move on to work another row or two of the ribbed border, that's how I would suggest you do it. That's how I would do it. But for me, this is where I'm finishing off. So now I'm going to move into working just a row of single crochet around the border just to finish it off. So for this stitch here, my final stitch, I wouldn't work another post stitch around it. I'm going to just go right into working single crochets starting in this last stitch. So I'm going to take out my stitch marker. And in the top of this stitch here, I'm just going to work a single crochet. And I'm going to mark that stitch. And then I'm just going to continue working single crochets. So I'll do a single crochet in the next one. Single crochet in the next one. Single crochet in the next stitch. And when I get to my stitch marker, take it out. 
I'm still going to increase my corner just to continue making sure that I get that nice square edge on my border. So I'm going to work three single crochet in this corner. One, two, three, and because I know I'm not going to be continuing to work any more rounds, I'm not going to replace the stitch marker. I'm just going to continue working around my blanket. So now along this side, I'm just going to continue working single crochets. So single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and single crochet in each stitch all the way to my next stitch marker, where I'll do three single crochet in that stitch and then work single crochet along the next edge. When I get to the next stitch marker, I would work three single crochet and then continue until I got back to my first single crochet of the round. So continue doing that, working single crochet around, or if you chose to work another round or two of the post stitches, continue doing that. Then you work your final row of single crochet, and then you can come back in and we'll finish off. Now I'm at the end of my round where I have one stitch left before where I place my stitch marker. So I'm gonna work one final single crochet right here. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fasten off, but I'm not gonna do another slip knot and make a knot. I'm gonna do a seamless join. So I'm gonna leave the live loop on my stitch right there. And then I'm gonna cut my yarn. Then I'm gonna grab a tapestry needle. I'm gonna pull on the tail here and just pull it right out of the stitch. And I'm gonna put the tail onto my tapestry needle. I'm gonna now remove my stitch marker. And then what I'm going to do is, I am going to now weave this tail under the two loops of this stitch. So this was my last stitch. I'm gonna weave my tail under the top two loops of this stitch here, just like that. And just pull on it a little bit. And then I'm gonna tilt my work toward me. And then I'm gonna weave the tail under the back loop of the stitch, my last stitch. So, I went under the top two loops of what was my first stitch, and now I'm gonna go under the back loop of the last stitch. I'm just gonna pull that top right there. And then you just use this tail and just weave it in. But then now when you look at your work, like so, you don't see any knots or anything where you joined and finished off your work. So it just leaves a nice clean edge when you're all done. So now you just take this and just weave in your ends and then you'd be done. So what I like to do is I actually go right through the posts when I'm weaving in my ends here, just like this under a couple of loops just like that so for the first little bit of the tail I'll weave it through one post and then just weave it in the rest of the way going through a few stitches to make sure it's in there nice and snug and it's not going to come loose and then you're all done so I hope you liked it please let me know in the comments what you think I love hearing from you guys and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all of you for being here. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care and bye for now.